getting up here was a freaking workout. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's me. Shh, be quiet. Roll down the window. Roll down the window. Oh my god, you're gonna get me caught. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. Don't ask. Don't ask that many questions, okay? I promise I will answer everything, but first, I need you to help me. Please sneak me in here. I, I beg. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I will never forget this. Oh my gosh. You are not going to believe what happened to me. Look, I know I should have texted you and asked you, Hey, can I just come into your house? But I couldn't. It was an emergency. I had to leave as soon as I could. Plus, it's not like you and I are on friendship basis. I can't just pick up the phone and ask you to come over or ask or invite myself over, I guess. Anyways, um, I was just out on a date with a guy and, um, let's just say he turned out to be a little bit weird. Actually, weird is an understatement and, you know, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt because, hello, look at me. Obviously, to other people, I'm labeled as a weirdo which I'm not, but God, this guy was like on a whole different level. I could not leave. And I just needed a way to get out. Well, I didn't want him to see where I live because he gave me stalker vibes. So I told him to drop me off on the side of the road and I walked and I saw him following me. So I decided to run and go the opposite way. And now I'm here. I had to hide. I swear if I look out the window, he's probably out there waiting. Thank you. Well, yeah, he might be a nice guy. Probably. That is very unlikely, though. He was just making me so uncomfortable. Well, first off, he pointed at my clothes. He made a snarky comment that I didn't like. And he was just being a little bit I don't know, offensive. So inconsiderate with his use of words. I felt kind of disrespected on the date. And he gave me some kind of stalker vibes in a way. Anyways, I'm just grateful that you helped me. Thank you. Even though you didn't have to, you still did, which says a lot about you, so... You like my clothes? <laughs> Thanks. Are you just trying to make me feel better? Oh, you mean it? Well, thank you. I don't usually get compliments on my clothes. I get comments, that's for sure, but they're not good comments in a way. People always have something to say about me, whether it's about my hair, my makeup, my clothes, anything. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. That's actually part of the reason why I stopped dating. I kind of just gave up. Both guys and girls, they were just... I don't know. Nobody was... Respectful enough, I guess. It's... I don't know, I... I don't want to be labeled a certain way just because of the way I dress, or... I present myself. I mean, I'm still a pretty funny girl, you know? I have some good qualities about me. You know? What do you know? You and I barely even talk. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I still feel like you're only saying this to make me feel better, which I appreciate, but... You don't have to feel like you need to compliment me in any way. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. So, now that I'm officially in your bedroom, let me take a look around. <laughs> yeah, this totally seems like your vibe. Oh, is that a Guns N' Roses poster? You're into them? 
I dig that. I am too. They're actually one of my favorite bands. I'm not the type of girl that's going to wear a band shirt just for the fuck of it. Like, no, there's, <laughs> there's a reason behind it. Actually, most of my shirts are a fangirl type of shirts, I guess you can say. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, it's nice to meet someone with good music taste, I guess. Though I don't really know what else you listen to. Oh, okay, yeah, we we have a few things in common then. <laughs> I can't believe I've lived next to you all these years and I barely know anything about you. Other than the fact that you're oddly obsessed with basketball. I mean, I'm always catching you playing outside. You're pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. You, like, never miss a shot. It's crazy. What? Watching you? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't watching you. You make me sound like a creep. Well, the sound of the ball is, like, really loud. It's impossible not to notice you. Oh, shut up. You're just trying to rile me up. It's not working. Are you not my type? <laughs> what? Why? Where is he even... Where is this coming from? Why do you care what my type is and if you are my type? <laughs> Let's switch this topic around, actually. Am I your type? Because I highly doubt that. Oh, yeah, I did switch it. What about it? <laughs> Look, I don't really have a type, honestly. I, I go for someone that I vibe with in a way like if i like you and i think you're a cool person i'll give you a chance but i've never really dated someone just based on their looks i don't have a specific type that i go for obviously i appreciate nice characteristics in a person but i don't look for them what about you though i feel like you're into the petite blondes I can totally see that. Oh, I'm pretty sure I caught you with uh, one of your girlfriends at some point. She is exactly how I imagined a girl you would date would be like. Well, just a ray of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I could practically see clouds all over her. Oh, you guys broke up. Well, yeah, this was a while back so I'm not really surprised to hear that so you never answered my question what is your type oh you don't have one either I imagine that you're not into emo girls <laughs> just just a question. I mean, I have a few friends that I think would be interested. Most of them are... Well, I don't really like the word emo, but... You know. They're like me, in a way. They're great girls. <laughs> what? Am I interested? Um... <laughs> I was literally just on a date, and it was terrible, so I don't really know if I'm interested in anyone anymore yeah my um self-esteem just went down the drain right then and there <laughs> thank you I, I don't really know why you're trying to tell me that i'm beautiful all of a sudden blushing no i'm not blushing <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I never blush. Mm, nope, never. Do you mind if I get on your bed? Looks really comfortable. <laughs> These bed sheets are so nerdy. <laughs> They're actually kind of cute. Who would have thought that you'd be a nerd just like me? Yeah, well, we could have spent all these years being friends, but we didn't. 
I felt like you would rather hang out with other people than me. Didn't really feel like I fit in your friend group anyways. I've seen your friends. I'm pretty sure one of them... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he ate my cupcake one time during school. Yeah, during lunch break, he came up to me and he just took my cupcake. I don't know his name, but he has like spiky blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come join me or what? You're just going to hover above me and look down at me like that? Yeah, I'll get on the bed. It's pretty comfortable. <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> it almost looks like you're trying to cuddle me. Oh, you are. Well, I'm not opposed, I guess. Yeah, sure, I'll snuggle up to you a little bit. It was pretty cold out there. I left my jacket in his car. I'm telling you, I couldn't wait to get out of there. I don't know, the vibe was just weird. And I felt like he was just experimenting with me. Maybe he's trying to go out with someone that's not his usual go-to type of girl. And he ended up with me. <laughs> What a shame, right? You don't think it's a shame? Look, if you're gonna keep flirting with me today, I'm just gonna kiss you. Because that's literally all you've been doing since the moment I stepped in here. It almost makes you look like you're into me. But that's crazy, right? You would never be into me. We're like polar opposites. And every way possible. <laughs> yeah, I know that our mothers are friends, but that doesn't... How does that even correlate to what I'm trying to say? I mean, that we're not all that different. Well, I know we're not. I don't think I'm different, but people, they try to make me feel that way. Now that I think about it, though, you were never one of those people. You were always so friendly with me. I guess it was always just me that over, overthought everything and I pushed you away. I'm sorry for that. You are a good person, I can see. I can see that. I sense it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I, I don't know. No one's ever looked at me that way. I told you I'm not blushing. Oh my god. And the more you point it out, the more I'm going to deny it. <laughs> my goodness. You're playing with my hair. You like my hair? <laughs> Thanks. I, I recently dyed it this way. I thought it would be cool to do like a little split look. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. At least someone does. My mom didn't like it a lot. It's just temporary, I mean. I was just having some fun. And that's what I like to do usually. I play with my hair a lot. Change it up every now and then. <laughs> yeah, same with my outfits. You're still looking at me that way. Okay, yeah, it's making me a little bit nervous. I, I'm not used to being stared out that way. But you are leaning in. You're not, you're not only doing this to mess with me, right? You meant to kiss me? Good. Because I want to kiss you again. 
Mm. What? I'm a good kisser. Thanks, sorry. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> Thank God I didn't kiss that guy. Well, he tried it, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Now that we're being honest with each other, I guess I should tell you that I've always had a bit of a crush on you. And that's part of the reason why I watched you through my window a lot when you'd be playing outside with your friends. I would just wish I could go out there and play with you. Just wasn't sure that I would fit in, you know. But you... You've never been one to exclude me out of anything, so... Thank you. And thank you for saving me tonight. Seriously, you... I owe you one. Maybe next time you can sneak into my room. And we can do some more kissing over there. Hmm. Yeah. I don't mind staying here a little bit longer. If you want me here. <laughs> Let me just move a little closer to you. Thank you. For making me feel better today. You really did. I mean, I've only been here for like 10 minutes and I already am smiling more than I ever did with that guy. So that says something. Yeah, I know. I, I've always known you were a good person. I mean, my mom, she always raved about you and how good you are. She's, she's always wanted us to be friends, but I guess behind this cold exterior that I put on, I'm kind of shy and scared, I guess. Scared of being judged. But now I know that you're not like that. And judging by the way that you're looking at me, I can tell that you have strong feelings for me too. At least I hope so. Okay, good. You had me at Guns N' Roses. <laughs> 